If you've ever wanted to go with the flow, this is the chapter for you. Fluid mechanics. We're going to define pressure density and learn how fluids work. And then we're going to talk about measuring pressure and get into Pascal's principle and hydraulics. Following that, we'll cover Archimedes' principle and buoyancy, why things float, and then end up getting down to Bernoulli's equation. First, let's define some phases or states of matter. I'll call them states of matter. A solid is a state that has a definite shape and size. A liquid has a fixed volume, can, but can be any shape. And a gas can be any shape and takes the shape of its container as well. It can be easily compressed compared to a liquid, which generally isn't as easily compressed. Liquids and gases both flow and are called fluids. So when we talk about fluid mechanics, we're talking about liquids and gases. There's also plasma, which is another state of matter, and some other interesting stuff. We're not worrying about those. The reason why I don't call these phases of matter, even though a lot of people do and it's fine, is that I prefer saving phase to talk about different phases of matter, which you can have different phases of the same state of matter. For example, here is a phase diagram for water that don't worry, you don't have to understand everything here. You've got pressure over here on the left. So up and down is pressure and then left and right is temperature. And I just want to give an idea that in water, you've got liquid water and as you freeze it, you get ice. So as you decrease your temperature, you end up with ice. But if you keep decreasing the temperature, the ice actually changes phase again. And then you get this ice 11 as you get colder and colder below 200 degrees Celsius. Similarly, if you make ice at very high pressures, you get different phases of that solid state of matter. If you've read Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut, don't worry, ice nine is a real thing. It does show up right there, but it doesn't behave like it does in that science fiction book. We've got phases and states. And we're going to care about liquids and gases in this chapter. Liquids are not held as tightly together as solids, so they're able to flow. And gases are even less tightly held together. The atoms at the micro scale, the atoms have much weaker intermolecular forces, so they're more free to move far apart, separated by large distances. That's the basics of phases and states. Now let's define density and specific gravity. Density is mass over volume. We use the Greek letter rho, which looks like a little p, but different. The Greek letter rho to talk about density. Water has a density of a gram per cubic centimeter, which means that seems suspicious. It is suspicious. A kilogram was originally the weight of a thousand cubic centimeters or a liter worth of water. It's been redefined since. A cubic centimeter is equal to a milliliter, and there are lots of volume conversions you can do within that. Density here, mass over volume, is temperature dependent and it's pressure dependent. Usually as your temperature increases, your density decreases. And this makes some sense if you think about those little molecules bouncing against each other. As your temperature gets higher, you end up getting more molecular motion and they want to push each other apart so the density gets further apart. Specific gravity is another way of talking about the how tightly packed things are. And it's defined as the density of some material relative to some reference density. Here we have the reference density of water at four degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. There you go, density and specific gravity. Here we've got some different densities. You see water is actually kind of a weird outlier with this, that as it gets hotter, so from 20 degrees Celsius up to 100 degrees Celsius, it does decrease in density. But as you get colder, you get this weird behavior as you're approaching that crystalline phase. And water is one of the rare substances where the density of the solid phase is less than the liquid phase. Normally it's the other way around. So water, if you think about ice cubes floating in water, that's unusual. Most things, if you have the molten 
form of the thing, the liquid form, and you have the solid form sitting in the liquid form, the solid form will be dense and will sink to the bottom. There you go. Fluid density and specific gravity.